Hello friends. My name is Sevia Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel Sevia Mentor. Today we are going to discuss on types of isolation valve. Isolation valves are a key component in any fluid system as they are used to stop the flow of fluid into a particular area of the system. They are also sometimes used to manually control the flow of the fluid. In this video we are going to discuss various types of isolation valve. Watch the video till end. Let's start the video. What are isolation valves? Isolation valves are used to control the flow of different fluids. They are usually installed in a series of pipes. Isolation valves have different modes. When they are opened, the fluid can flow freely. By closing the isolation valve, the fluid stops flowing. Different types of isolation valves. Isolation valves can be categorized based on their movement or based on their internal structure design. These types of isolation valve are as follows. Rotary movement valves. Linear movement valves. Rocker style isolation valves. Diaphragm isolation valves. Pinch valves. Rotary movement valves. One of the popular types of isolation valves is the rotary movement valve. Rotary movement valves have a rotational movement. They have two main designs. Ball valves. Butterfly valves. Ball valves. Ball valves contain a handle that shows its status. By checking the status you can ensure whether the valve is closed or open. These valves are great for a tight shutoff. One of the great advantages of ball valves is that they can be easily cleaned and their maintenance is not difficult as well. Since they can be easily cleaned, they have less potential for choke up. Because the sudden movement of the valve can damage the gauge or diaphragm of the transmitter, they should have a slow operation. Needle valves. A needle valve is used to accurately control flow rates of clean gases or liquids. Gradual adjustments of the stem and plunger enable smooth flow control. These valves generally have low flow rates and a relatively significant pressure drop from the inlet to the outlet. Standard port sizes for needle valves range from 1 8 inch to 2 inch, 2 to 12 millimeters. The most common application of a needle valve is to control gas flow, such as propane in a tank. Butterfly valves. Butterfly valves contain a disc that rotates around a shaft. The disc's plane is parallel to the flow of the fluid when it's in the open state. This position is perpendicular when closed. These types of isolation valves are great for low pressure situations. Butterfly valves are compact as well. That is why they are great for places with limited space. Linear movement valves. One of the different types of isolation valves is the linear movement valve. These valves move in a straight line and that's why they are called linear movement valves. These valves have different designs such as gate valve, globe valve, diaphragm valve, and pinch valve. Diaphragm isolation valves. Membrane valves are also known as diaphragm isolation valves. These solenoid-operated devices utilize a diaphragm for sealing the valve seat. This enables the valve to isolate the flow path of the fluid. They can also work as a two-way or three-way on and off system to work just for opening and closing the flow of the fluid. Rocker-style isolation valves. Rocker-style isolation valves are just like diaphragm isolation valves and are solenoid-operated tools. These valves use a rocker system for rotation in order to seal the seat of the valve and stop the flow route of the fluid. These valves can be configured to work as a two-way system or as a multiport diverter or selector. Pinch isolation valves. A pinch isolation valve is also used for opening and closing the fluid's flow route. They have a disposable, removable tube that, by pinching, can open or close the route. <laughs> 